conversation. So Naira Mali has shared with us his last conversation with Mobad. And he's trying to show us that um, Mobad probably passed away due to depression. From the part that I understood, Mobad was sharing how he was battling with uh, depression or something like that. And Naira Mali trying to you know, give him some advice or something like that. So, um, um, so I oh, feel very much, but one hour I go long, feel very much. One hour I go long, feel very much. And others are surrounded, others are surrounded, they are producing things, don't stress. Mother, I shall lie from my last time, which if you don't see, where benefit happened to you, now I'm only at the now I'm only at the money and thing. Missing of that part, one hour would do. That's me feel bad, but me feel bad more. It's just me and my mom only for it. Oh, no, oh, feel oh, feel bad, 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 I'm mm, you know, just looking after you. I need to look after you. I told you already. You shouldn't be stressed. Be free. Do what you want to do and say what you want to say. Say it. If you say mummy, oh yeah, my lolly, that the mama is the white jaw. Can you come? Can say it. Be free. You wouldn't feel like. I know you said you feel like nobody likes you, Abi. Mm. But if nobody, if you, you can't feel that. Like, if you feel like nobody likes you, it's not always for you to kill yourself. Do you get? Because they're not show they're not showing it that they don't like you. Because then don't at the end on like it's here. You walk off feel bad, you know, trust you. It's something in the back of your mind that you raise. I must say that I don't really understand it. Because it seems as if it happened right after a, a Mobad posted that if anything happened to him, that Naira Mali should take responsibility of that. I want to say that this doesn't prove anything. This doesn't prove that uh, Naira Mali is uh, not guilty. So it doesn't prove anything. So all these things that he is trying to tell us that he is not guilty of uh, Mobad's uh, person, that he did not do anything to him, that uh, they only had family issues. I mean, I, I, is he kidding us? First of all, first of all, he wrote a lengthy letter to the public, you know, expressing his um, innocence in this whole accusation. That, so he wrote a lengthy letter, probably to his uh, lawyer, you know, to the public that he is innocent. That he's not a drug lord, that he did not batter and beat uh, Mabad. He did not uh, oppress him, he did not, he denied every allegation that was upon him. He's not a drug lord, he's not a courtist, and that he is ready to come to Nigeria to clear himself. That he is ready to come to Nigeria to clear himself and to even join the police to catch the culprit, to make the investigation, to catch the person that took Mabad's life. So this is what he's trying to say. He has been all over the place uh, to say this. And we shouldn't be surprised because, you know, why he's having this God to come up now is, is because people have started pointing, you know, when all the social media personalities like Very Dark Man and uh, what's her name, Dr. Kimi, ever since uh, the Very Dark Man and uh, Dr. Kimi came up and started pointing fingers at other people, like the wife, the father, and the other people, you know. Now he has the call to come up to say this. You understand me? Very soon, Sam Larry will also come up to say his own. So I must say, I must say that these people, Sam Larry, uh, Naira Mali, 
are the main culprits. Men, when I mean main culprits, they are the main culprits because they were the one that Mobad was crying about. You see, N D L E A, Sam Larry, Naira Mali. Three of them are the main culprits. Others, others could be accomplices. Others are only accomplices. Believe you me, others are only accomplices. If that boy happened to pass away by man's hand, these three major people, in fact, I must even say that NDLEA is, is also a complice. Naramali and Samlari are the main culprits because there's a lot of things that, hap that has happened. You know, it all began with him refusing to let him go. Refusing to let him go, which this man complained about, which this boy complained about. And in all his music, most of his music, he has related how these people are battering him, how they're beating him, how they're sending boys after him and all that. How they're turning his friends against him. How they have refused, you know, him to have access to certain musical outing and something like that. Even when this man took him to UK, how much afraid he was. He was Mobad died of fear. I must say, Mobad was f terribly afraid scared for his life till death he was terribly scared for his life he was completely completely bullied so all this that he's saying just to clear himself right i just hope i just hope that god himself will take over this case because human beings might not be able to handle it Okay, because this man we're talking about, he has people in the government, he has people everywhere to defend him, you know, to, to be on his side. And now Mobad is from a poor background, and after all, he's, he has passed away, and nobody, I am, I am not discouraged because I trust Yoruba people. I trust Yoruba people who are out for this battle those of them who are out for this battle i know that they will never go to sleep people like Eyabojo, sam clef and the rest of them they are ready to to make sure that they saw to the end of this case so i am not discouraged because i trust all these yoruba people who are out following the case because it's no longer all about, only about more bad do you know it's not only about more bad there are lots of other boys that are involved in this case who have come out and said that they are facing the same thing so, so these boys are being forced into using drugs these boys are being forced to enter calls these boys are being forced to do certain things that they don't want to do now this man what's his name pastor bakary bakary that came out and say hey, that uh, naira um uh, that um, Obad planted himself into evil and what does he expect that he's in, into court he's into drugs so what does he expect? If he was doing those things, it was Naira Mali uh, that forced him into it. Who is the head of Malian record? It is Naira Mali. As he said, as he said that he is going to come to Nigeria to, you know, clear himself, let him come and clear himself. Let him come and clear himself. Let him also come and clear himself concerning other boys who have come to say something about him. And other boys who are suffering under him also, who are passing through the same thing that.